morning. Morning. I'm going to bake bagels. This is honey, by the way. Hello, 
welcome to the stream. I might change the camera today. More options. Uh, yeah, um, I'm at a different location today. I'm about Richmond. Um, I think they have pretty busy days here. Yeah, they're decently busy. I don't often bake at this location, so I'm not... Uh, I'm not entirely sure what business is like here.
Hello, welcome to the stream. I got my first batch in. I'm at a different location today. I'm at Richmond. Yeah, I'm at a different location today. Uh, I'm, at, I'm at a Richmond location. Um, so I'm trying out a new angle. Might not be close enough. I could probably bring it a little bit closer. Let's try that. I might, I might get in the way though. Let's put it there. You'll be able to see a little bit more of what I do from that angle, so I'll try it out for a bit.
Uh, sorry, I can't read the comments from here. A little bit too far away, so sorry I'm not responding. Hamlin Towns in Brunswick, my famous hat of the city, the river wester deep and wide washes its wall on the southern side. A pleasanter spot you've never spied, but when begins my ditty, almost 500 years ago, to see the townsfolk suffer so from vermin was a pity. Rats, they fought the dogs and killed the cats, bit the babies in the cradles, and ate the cheese from the bats, and licked the soup from the cooks on ladles, split open the cans of salt and scraps, in Eskimo and Sunday hats, and even spoiled the women's chats by drowning out their speeches with shrieking and squeaking and fifty different sharks and flats. At last, the people in a body through the town hall came flocking. Tis clear, cried they, our affair is a naughty, and as for a corporation, shocking to think we buy gowns lined with vermin. Adults who can't or won't determine what's best to put us up our vermin. You hope because you're old and obese. Find the furry civic robes ease. Rouse up, sir, give your brains a racket. To find the remedy we are lacking, or sure as fate will send you packing. At this, the mayor corporation quaked with the mighty consternation. An hour they sat in council. At length, the mayor broke silence. For a gilder eyed my ermin down cell. I wish I were a mile hence. It's easy to bid one rack one's brain. I'm sure my poor head aches again. I scratch it so, but all in vain. Oh, for a trap, a trap, a trap. Just he said this, what should happen? As the chamber door with a gentle tap. Bless us, cried the mayor. What's that? With the corporation as he sat, looking little to wonder his fat. Nor brighter were his eyes, nor moister than a too long open oyster. Save what a noon is plunged through muteness, or a plate of turtle green in blueness. Only a scraping of shoes on a mat. Anything like the sound of a rat makes my heart will hit a path. Come in, cried the mayor, looking bigger, and did did come the strangest figure. His long queer coat from heel to head was half yellow and half red, and he himself was tall and thin, with sharp blue eyes, each like a pin, and light loose hair and swarthy skin, nor tuft of hair on cheek nor beard on chin. While lips were smiling out and in, there was no guessing his kith or kin, and nobody could enough admire this tall man in his quaint attire. Quote one, it's as my great grandsire, starting up at the trunk of Doom's tone, had walked this way to the sacred tombstone. He advanced towards the council table. Please, Your Honor, said he, I am able, by means of secret charm, to draw all the creatures living beneath the sun, they crawl or swim or fly or run, after me so as you never saw. And I chiefly use my charm on creatures that do people harm, the mole and toad and newt and viper, and people call me the pied hyper. 
And here they know his round his neck, a scarf of red and yellow stripe, to match with his coat and self same check. And now the scarf's end on a pipe, and his fingers they notice were never straying, as if impatient to be playing upon this pipe, as low it dangled over his vesture so old tangled. Yes, said he, pine piper as I am, in Tartaria at Fred the Cam, last June from his huge swarms of gnats. I ease an Asian than I am, a monstrous brood of vampire bats. And as for what your brain bewilders, if I rid your town of rats, will you give me one thousand guilders? One, fifty thousand was the exclamation, an astonished mayor and corporation. Into the street the piper stepped, smiling first a little smile, as if he knew what magic slept in his quiet pipe a while. Like a musical adept to blow his pipe, his lips he wrinkled, and green and blue his sharp eyes twinkled, like a candle flame where soul to sprinkle. And there three shrill notes the pipe uttered, he heard as if an army muttered, the muttering grew to a grumbling, the grumbling grew to a mighty rumbling, and out of the houses came the rats tumbling, great rats, small rats, lean rats, brawny rats, brown rats, black rats, gray rats, tawny rats, Brave old plotters, gay young crispers, fathers, mothers, uncles, cousins, cocking tails and pricking whiskers, families by tens and dozens, brothers, sisters, husbands, wives, followed the pipe piper for their lives, from street to street he piped advancing, and step for step they followed dancing, until they came to the river Wester, where it all plunged and perished, save one who stout as Julius Caesar, swam across and lived to carry, as he the manuscript he cherished, to rat land home his commentary. Which was, at first shrill notes up the pipe, I heard a sound as of scraping tripe, putting apples wondrous right into the cider presses bright, then moving away at pickle tub boards, leaving a jar of concert cupboards, and drawing the corks of trade oil flasks, and breaking the hoops of butter casks, and it seemed as if a voice sweeter far than by harp or by soldiers breathe, called out, O oh, rats, rejoice, the world has grown to a vast dry sultry. So munch on, crunch on, take your nunch on, breakfast, supper, dinner, lunch on, and just a bulky sugar punch on, already stayed like a great sun shone. Gracious, scarce an inch before me, just as we thought it set before me, I found the west rolling over me. You should have heard the Hamlin people ring the bells, they rock the steeple. Go, cried the mayor, get long poles, cocoa finesse, and walk on the holes. It's all with carpenters and builders, the traces the rats. When suddenly up the face of the pipe of the the marketplace, first, if you please, my thousand guilders. A thousand guilders. The mayor looked blue, so did the corporation too. The council did it in rare habit, which clarity would sell, being the grub hawk, and half the money would replenish, to sell the biggest blood of Rhenish. To pay this sum to a wondering fellow, who chips the coat of red and yellow. Besides, both the mayor, the knowing wink, our business was done at the river's brink. Our business is done at the first break. Besides, I lost to me this tricky. A thousand guilders come and take fifty. The piper's face fell on each side. No trifling, I can't wait beside. I promise to visit by dinner time, Baghdad. Except for pride with that cook's potage. All he's rich in, for having left in the caliph's kitchen. Of a nest of scorpions, no survivor. With him I prove no bargain driver. With you don't think I'll wait a stiver. The folks who put me in a passion, they find me pipe after another fashion. How, cried the mayor, do you think I broke? Being worse treated than a cook, insulted by a rival, with idle pipe and vesture piebald. Threaten us, fellow, do your worst. Blow your pipe there till you burst. Once more he stepped into the street, and to his lips again made his long pipe smooth straight pain. And airy blew three notes, such sweet, soft notes as yet musicians coming up gaily in rapture air. It was a rustling that seemed like a bustling, a myriad crowds adjusting, a pitching and hustling, small feet were pattering, wooden shoes clattering, little hands clapping, little tongues chattering, like foals in the farmyard before all the farmyard scattering. Out came the children running, all the little boys and girls, with rosy cheeks and flax and curls, and sparkling eyes and teeth like pearls, tripping and skipping around merrily after. The wonderful music was shouting and laughter. The mayor was dumb and the council stood, as if they're changed to blocks of wood, unable to move a step or cry, to the children merrily skipping by, could only follow the cry, that joyous crowd of the piper's back, and how the mayor was on the rack, and the wretched council's bosoms beat, as the piper turned from the high street, to where the west rolled its waters, right in the way of their sons and daughters, how it returned from south to west, and to Copper Hill his steps addressed, and after him the children pressed, great was the joy in every breast. 
He never crossed the mighty park. He's forced to let the piping drop, and we shall see our children stop. When lo, they reached the mountainside, a wondrous portal opened wide, as if a cavern was suddenly hollowed. The piper advanced, and the children followed. When all were in to the very last, the door in the mountainside shut fast. Did I say all? No one was lame, and could not dance the whole of the way. And then after years, if you blame his sadness, he was used to say, this doll in our town since my playmates left, I can't forget that I'm bereft of all the pleasant sights they see, which the piper also promised me. For he led us, he said, to a joyous land, joining the town in jest at hand, where waters gushed and fruit trees grew, flowers before her hue, and everything was strange and new. The sparrow inquired a peacock here, and their dogs were round our fellow deer, and honeybees had lost their stings, and horses were born with eagles' wings. And just as I became assured, my labor will be speedily cured. The music stopped, and I stood still, and found myself outside the hill, left behind against my will, to go down lifting as before, and never hear of that country more. Alas, alas, for Hamlet, there came to many a burger's case, a text which says to heaven's gate, hopes the rich at his easy rate, as the needle's eye takes a camel in. The mare said east, west, north, and south, proffer the paper by word of mouth, wherever was meant to lot to find him, Silver and gold to his heart's content. If only he returned the way he went and bring the children behind him. But when they saw it was lost endeavor, and Piper and Ganson were gone forever, they made a decree that lawyers never should think their records gained duly. After the day of the month and year, these words do not as well appear. And so long after what happened here on the 22nd of July, 1376, in the better memory of fixed the place of the children's last retreat, they called it the Five Piper Street. Were anyone playing pipe or tabor, was sure for his future to lose his labor, nor suffer the hospital and tavern, to shock and hurt the street so solemn, and opposite the place of the cavern, they wrote the story on a column, and on a great church window painted, the same to make the world acquainted, how their children were stolen away, and there it stands this very day. I must not admit to say, in Transylvania there is a tribe, of alien people who describe, the way they dress, in which their neighbors lay such stress, to their fathers and mothers having risen out of some subterranean prison into which they were to pan a long time ago in a mighty band out of Hamlin towns in Brunswick land, but how or why they don't understand. So, Lily, let me and you be wipers of scores out with old men, especially pipers. And if they should pipe us free from rats and from mice, if we promise them not, let us keep our promise. I forgot a couple of the lines. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the stream. I'm at a, uh, another location today. I'm at Richmond. Um, so I'm trying out a new angle. Um, unfortunately, I can't read your um, your comments from here. So uh, Unless I get really close. But I'm thinking uh, maybe... I'm going to move this a little bit. Hello, hello from Canada. Uh, uh, today I'm in Richmond, BC. Richmond, BC. Hello. Richmond, British Columbia, Vancouver, Canada. I shouldn't say Vancouver.
have two bags in the oven and uh, put in the pot right now. It's been uh, busy in the morning. A lot of crap around here. I don't often make a new location. Uh, I lived here last week. That was the first time. I need coffee. Coffee morning. I usually don't start coffee drinking coffee until I need a lot, seven or eight. But uh, I feel like having one now. My, oh my god, there's a Starbucks sauce to here. My first thought was he lied every word. That poor cripple with malicious eye. Ask him to watch the working of his lie and love. I'm not scared able to afford to touch it to believe the first to score dead by one or fifth and game or five. What else should he suffer with his staff? But safe to wait with his lines there. All trappers might find hope there. And I throw. I guess what's called like that would break, or practically break my head down from last night because he threw up there. If I had count, I should turn aside to all his traps to a green eye to dark hour. And I'd wrestling when it turned as he pointed, I looked my little prickingling at the end of the sky, so much the glad this man could be. For what was my whole world wide wondering, what my search around for years, my hope windling to a ghost on thick coat that the surf rejoiced and sets free, I hardly cried down to rebuke the strength of my heart and find failure in soul. As the sweet man very near to death since dead he feels me in and tears, hates farewell each man, and here's what bid me to go, draw breath, feel the air outside. The toll is over, he said, and blow all in the green kind of thing. While some discuss the other great few wind of this, when it takes success to carry the corpse away, the careful banner starves and staves, and still the man hears all and only to praise it. It may not shame a ten love a day. Thus I have so long suffered in this quest, heard failure cross eyes go off the grip, so it ties among the band with the night two dark hours that she left us up, the jet fails they seem best, and all that was not shit be fit. So by it as spirit turned him, the hate tape crippled out of his highway to him, but in the path pointed, all the day dreams were one and best, the dip was setting into its close, it shot one grim red near the sea plane catch its spray. For more, the sooner was I barely found, pledged plain after a pity to, the cause in regard to the last view, all the sacred road was gone, grave pain all around, nothing but pain from her eyes bound, bless God, my cow was made to do. So as I went, I think I first saw some star in the nature, nothing grow, for flowers well as peck to see her grow, but mortal and spurred to queen under law, and propagate the time of the land law, you think her her name is her toe, no fear is written to her name, and some strange so word land portion, see you close your eyes at nature beach. In nothing skills, I can help my case. This last dance with fire mature this place. I'll sign this pod and set my prisoners free. If there puts me ready to stop the public hate, and then the head to the chalk, fence for dollar cells, who made holes and rents to dog harsh with these rules to walk all home to greenness. Tis a group as law, casting the light off the food of tense. As the grass that grew the skips her and never see, thin dry lay, prick mud, dry the leaf but beaten out with blood. One stiff line towards every bone to dare. To the stupefy hour he came in there, the grass can pass her with some death stuff. Oh, I might be dead for a title, with the red gone and pelt next ring, and shot by three the rest of the name. Tell them I can set the with such a bow, I think saw a group of maybe though, who might have been wasted for such a page. I shut my eyes and turned upon my heart, that man falls blind for he likes. I asked him and grabbed her earlier half years. Maybe really I could hope to put in part, I think first to afterwards, the soldier art, won't taste of old times at all rights. You okay? I fancy that we're ready to case. We need to guard her really cold. Dear fellow, I want myself to hold. An arm in mind, I speak to that place. The way you, alas, one night's disgrace. Out of my heart's good time, we're never cold. Giles, then, full of honor, he stands. Frank is ten years ago when they did first. Not to manage it, dare he say, dare is good with the team ships. Fall with hangman's hand into his rest of arts. His old band reads it. Poor traitors to pitfall and cursed. But if this mess of the past had died, back there forward to the darkened path, sound sight as far as I can dream, the lights of howler are a badass, and something on the dismal lap came to grasp my thoughts and change the train. A subtle word brought my path, as unexpected as surf became, new heights and genie through the gooms, this is a drop by, might have been a bath of beams blowing, the sea of wrath and flapping, and these bath of lace and spoon. The pettits will fight for it, all along the little scrub ball and they're healed over it. Drenched with those flood them headlong, and fake the bright despair. A suicidal throng, rules down the mulder wrong, whatever that was, world fog, and turn no victim. 
Back. We're going to take a look at that. There's a, there are sesame bagels. Nicely golden brown, that's what we're looking for. Evenly baked, golden brown.
Burner web. <laughs> Two bags in the oven, one in crate, one in pot. <laughs> my, uh, my pot burner extinguished, uh, so I, my bagels are quite in here. Uh, not bagels. There's, uh, two bags of bagels in there. I'll show you, uh, I'll show you a finished batch here. These are, here's some sesame bags. I have uh, two bags in the oven, one in the pot, and uh, one in a crate right there. <laughs> 